Bloom's taxonomy is a categorization of learning objectives and goals when teaching. It was proposed in 1956 by a team of educators led by Benjamin Bloom. Benjamin Samuel Bloom was an American educational psychologist who made influences to the classification of educational learning objectives and to the concept of mastery learning. Bloom's taxonomy divides the educational learning objectives into three areas or domains, cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. The goal of Bloom's taxonomy is to motivate educators to focus on all three areas, creating a more rounded form of education. One area that I would like to focus on is the cognitive domain or thinking skills. According to Bloom's taxonomy, this domain can be broken down into six categories. First, we have knowledge. This is recalling or remembering learned material. The second is comprehension. This is understanding the material. The third is application. This is using or applying the previously learned information to new and unfamiliar situations. The fourth is analysis. This is breaking material down to increase understanding or examining and trying to understand the organ organizational structure of information. The fifth is synthesis applying prior knowledge and reshaping material into a new form. And the last is evaluation, judging the worth of the material to some set of criteria without real, right, or wrong answers. Now that there is an understanding of Bloom's taxonomy, how can we use this in the classroom? Asking students to think at higher levels is a way to encourage students' thought processes. Different types of questions require us to use different levels of thinking. Here are some examples of using Bloom's Taxonomy's verb chart. Number one, under knowledge, you may use the words recall, underline, list, name, record, or label. Number two, comprehension. You may use the words understand, show, summarize, explain, describe, and demonstrate. Number three, application. You may use the words apply, select, model, organize, illustrate, or choose. Number four, analysis. You may use the words that include compare, contrast, Classify, map, divide, and examine. Number five, synthesis. You may use the words construct, design, compose, and develop. And the last one, evaluation. You may use the words convince, argue, judge, rate, or persuade. Today, teachers must make tough decisions about how to spend their classroom time. Everything must fit properly. Bloom's taxonomy has been changed or, quote, revised over the past couple of years. This is a framework that is a work in progress.